Hello, engagement fans. Welcome back to the Engagement Studio. I'm Libby Duong. I have with me Ann Maltese, a member of our Insights team here at Quantum Workplace. Today, we're going to be talking about the one-on-one -on -one conversations you should be having. Thanks for joining me, Ann. Thanks for having me, Libby. I'm excited to be here. Good. So again, we're talking about those one-on-one -on -one conversations you should be having, which suggests there's more than one type. Yes, there are. So I think a lot of people associate one-on-one -on -one conversations just with performance conversations. And I think a lot of that is driven by recent news about organizations ditching the annual performance review. And so one-on-one -on -one conversations are essentially lightweight, continuous conversations you have throughout the year. So they are great for performance and goal-based conversations, but they don't just have to be about that. Interesting. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yeah. Essentially, one-on-one -on -one conversations are a way for a manager to drive their team's engagement one employee at a time. So if you think about the things that drive an employee's engagement, things like making sure their opinions or their ideas are heard, that they have opportunities for development and growth, or that they have information they need to do their job well, those are all things that can be tackled in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So my biggest piece of advice is to make sure that you're using one-on-ones to their full potential. They don't just have to be about performance and goals. Okay, that's really interesting. So what other specific types of conversations would you suggest managers having with employees? Yeah, well, the first one might be pretty obvious, but if you are a manager and you have a new employee on your team, having frequent one-on-one -on -one conversations in the first few months of their tenure is a great way to accelerate the relationship between you as their manager and the employee. And it's also a good way to make sure that their onboarding process is going smoothly. Um, but that doesn't just have to be for a new employee into the organization. It could also be if you have a new employee to your team that came from a different team in the organization. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, especially if I think about my first few months in new roles I've experienced. So what else? Yeah, another example of a one-on-one -on -one conversation that you might have is if your employee receives tough feedback, maybe from a coworker or from a customer. And that could be tough for an employee to really deal with. So if you schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation, it's an opportunity for the employee to kind of share how they're feeling, share their point of view. It's also an opportunity to talk about what they can do differently next time. So it's really turning something that could be hard or frustrating for an employee into something that can actually be a growth experience for them. Right, I love that. It especially aligns back to what you were saying earlier about how one-on-ones are a great opportunity to engage employees. And I know if I had that one-on-one, -on -one, it would make me feel like you cared about me too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So very similar to that, if you have an employee that maybe has a life change, maybe their family's welcomed a new baby, or maybe they've had a death in the family, if you schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation, it's a good opportunity to A, just show you care, but also to really check in on them mentally and emotionally and to see if they need any special accommodations to be made. Um, similar to that, if there's organizational changes that take place, um, yes, you might talk about those in front of your entire team together, but if you meet with people individually in a one-on-one, -on -one, it gives them an opportunity to ask questions or maybe talk about concerns that perhaps they wouldn't bring up in front of the, the big group. So just in general, it's a way to, to really individualize and remember that your employees are humans. Right, that's really interesting, Anne, because it's different than just talking about performance. Clearly, one-on-ones are a great opportunity to personally connect on a lot of topics that affect employees. Yeah, exactly. So we definitely want one-on-one -on -one conversations to be occurring around performance and around goals, but it's really an opportunity to think about engaging your team year round. So that would be the biggest takeaway is to make sure you're thinking more broadly about one-on-ones. Um, so a lot of the things that I talked about today, they're, they're not one-on-ones that you would necessarily schedule in advance or that would be terribly formal but you can still use Quantum Workplace's one-on-one -on -one technology to prepare for that conversation and to document anything that happens after that conversation too. And that might look or feel a little bit different than the conversations that you have around performance and goals. Mm -hmm. Essentially, use the technology to help you be better, but you also wanna balance that with it not feeling too robotic because again, after all, your employees are humans. 
That's great. Thank you for sharing, Anne. Hopefully you get to try some of these one-on-ones with your own teams and ultimately make work better every day. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.